today we're going to be talking about phrasing, how to make a song your own. You can swing, you can use straight eighths, um, you can leave space, you can use clusters of rhythms really quick, you can use long beautiful tones. Before we even change any of the rhythm, what I'd like to do is shorten the rhythms that are there. So right now we have one, two, three, four, heaven, I'm in heaven. But what would happen if we shortened those dotted half notes and tried to make it a little bit more bubbly? Let's just try. One, two, three, four, heaven, I'm in heaven. It does make a difference when you add a little bit of air into what you're singing. Air in terms of you just allow yourself to float instead of driving straight through a long note every time there is a long note written. A really great thing that's done in phrasing of songs and also in soloing is this idea of coming before the harmony happens. Sometimes it ends up sounding a little dissonant, sometimes it ends up sounding like it doesn't fit, but then when that chord hits, it feels like a release, it feels really beautiful. Heaven, I'm in heaven. Coming before the beat is almost in a way easier because you know where you're going to land eventually. But with falling behind the beat and kind of laying back in your phrasing, that's where it gets tricky because a lot of times you slow it down, but then there's this whole chunk of lyrics that you have to sing and you try to squish it in before the next chord because you think it's gonna be dissonant or you don't think it's gonna work out. When you start to become free with the rhythm, that freedom will allow you to kind of mess things up and make it interesting.